group cars. So I've got a two litre four cylinder turbocharged engine with 300 horsepower. That has a very similar engine, two litres turbocharged, but with 310 horsepower. We've both got automatic gearboxes with dual clutches and launch control. We're gonna have a drag race. Now, before we do, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload so you don't miss any of our content. Also, follow us on Instagram at CarWowCars. Right then, let's do this. Good start, bit of a bog. Come on, against the golf, come on. Come on, oh no, it's close though. It's close, but that golf is just pulling ahead now. Oh dear. So then, what exactly happened? The Golf R did the standing quarter mile in 13.6 seconds, while the Cooper Oteca took 13.9 seconds. Now we're gonna have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour in third gear. I'm gonna call it in, see what happens. Three, two, one, go! Neck and neck, but then these cars do have similar torque, 400 newton meters. However, once again, the lighter Golf just wins out and it's pulling and that's it really. So this weighs 1.6 tonnes, that's 1.5 tonnes and that extra 100 kilos and the added drag of this taller car is what you see there. You know, for being around town and giving you some performance, this is pretty plumbing good keeping it with the Golf R but it's always going to be slightly hamstrung by its added weight and its less aerodynamic shape. But there is a way to counteract the Cooper Oteca's extra bulk and worse drag. Add some more power. Now, Seat offers an ECU upgrade from tuners apt on the Leon Cupra. It costs just £500 and it doesn't affect the car's warranty. Now, it's not actually available on the Oteca yet, even though the cars have the same engine. But I talked Seat into letting us fit it to the Oteca to see what the effect would be and to help them decide if they should make the upgrade available to Cupra Oteca customers. Okay then, now I've had the car tuned and I have an extra 50 horsepower, so 350. I have a rematch against the Golf. Do you think it's going to beat it? Click up there on the pop-out banner to vote whether you think this attacker is now going to beat the Golf. Ready to find out? Three, two, one. Oh, good start from both of us. It's neck and neck. Come on, Ateca! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Is he pulling it back, is he? I don't think so. Ooh, I got super excited by that. Good start. I had a good start as well. It was pretty close. And because I just got ahead, I maintained the lead and just did it. Now, did you guess correctly? I didn't. <laughs> This time, the Ateca did the quarter mile in 13.5 seconds, which is an improvement of 0.4 of a second over the standard car, and importantly, put it half a car's length ahead of the Golf. Right, now we're gonna have a rolling race. From 50 miles an hour in third gear, we're both locked in manual mode, so here we go. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. This is close, but I think I've just got the legs. 440 newton meters versus 400. And there's your result, guys. There's your result. So then, do you think the upgrade is worth the extra cash? Click it there on the pop-out banner to vote whether you think it is. Now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the cone, full emergency stop. So this should be close. Here comes the cone. What's gonna happen? Oh, the Golf won, probably by half a car's length. Now, as ever, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, in the comments, let us know what you thought about the video and what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on our logo.